Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you are doing fantastic. And today we are going to talk about seven great fall fragrances. So if you are like me and you like those fall, beautiful, complex fragrances, please stay with me. My name is Justina, this is my perfume world. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a like, leave a comment and let's go. So if I'm completely honest with you, I absolutely love autumn and winter fragrances. I do not like the aura uh, outside. I do not like the cold and the rain. However, when it comes to the fragrances, I think they are making up uh, for this aura anyways, and uh, they are showing their true beauty. When it comes to summer fragrances, I'm not so sure. Uh, I like them, but not particularly. Um, during the heat, they are losing lots of its charm, but now uh, we can enjoy more complex fragrances, which I absolutely, absolutely love. And we'll start with the first one without any further ado. And I think this one needs to be highlighted because no, almost no one is talking about it. And I think this one is just perfect for fall. Um, this is a dark fragrance, a quite niche, I would say, or even, I must say, very, very niche. And this one is uh, from Gallagher Fragrances, and it's September. This one has uh, red wine accord, it has maple syrup, uh, it has apricot and black tea, Turkish rose, oak wood, and honeyed amber. Just beautiful. When you are smelling it from the cap, it smells uh, slightly different than um, on the sillage when you are wearing it. It is uh, almost dry, like the dry red wine. Slightly sweet and very, very deep, thanks to the amber. Very, very beautiful, very complex. And, you know, it's very, very interesting and complex. So when uh, there is a bad day outside and there is slight humidity, you can appreciate this fragrance because it will warm you up. It will be so, so beautiful. Just you need to check it out. It is very hard to describe, but the first thing, as I said, that comes to mind uh, is like this dry red wine. So, so amazing. So yeah, September from Gallagher Fragrances. Another one uh, is on the sweeter side. And this one is Place de Lises, and this one is Saffron Gourmand. And listen, if you like German fragrances, of course, this um, this name tells us about uh, the genre of the fragrance. Of course, it's a German. Uh, but if you like German fragrances, you need to get to know this fragrance. I think no one is talking about it as well. And too bad, because it's so, so good. And I will tell you that if you like Italica from Zerzhov, you are going to love Saffron German because it has almond, it has heliotrope, it has vanilla, it has caramel. So, so nice, very cozy. It is like powdery almond, straight up from Italica, but not so strong, not so overpowering and not so powdery because this almond in Italica is very, very powdery, uh, very in your face, too sweet for some people. Whereas I think uh, this one, Saffron Gourmand, is much much better it is of course sweet but not too sweet not nauseating at least for me of course everything as i say you always need to test out on your skin but overall i think this one is like the it's like lighter and more refined version of italica from zerzhov so yeah saffron german from place de Lises. and another one uh, will be a cheapie actually uh, so if you are on the hunt uh, for a cheaper fragrance for this fall and you like those ambery sweet fragrances resinous if you like mfk um, oud Sa not oud satin mood but grand soir yes that's what i wanted to say grand soir this one will be definitely for you because for me it's a perfect dupe and i'm talking about latafa and it's eternal oud the bottle is just crazy, it looks like a big tree, but the glass is very sturdy, very thick, and you can hold it um, by the cap. Nothing is happening, although I do not recommend, it to, recommend to do it, even though the cap is good, because you never know. However, when it comes to the fragrance, yes, it's sweet, balsamic, resinous, it is very warm, and I would say it's sweet and slightly gooey as well. Uh, it is for me Grand Soir with slight addition of plum, but this plum is not very prominent. 
so good. For me, it's a dead ringer when it comes to the clone. Of course, there are various votes on Fragrantica when it comes to that. However, for me, it is a perfect dupe of MFK Grand Soir. So if you are on a budget or you do, just do, do, do not want to spend that money for Grand Soir, just go with Eternal Wood from Latafa. And the longer it sits on your shelf, uh, it gains this beautiful thickness and it's much, much stronger, lasts much longer than before. So yeah. Eternal Wood from Latafa. I really do appreciate and like this composition. And if you are a lady and you are not sure, because Grand Soir for some people leans masculine, and it is the same case here, you need to test it out first, as usual. But for me, it's a perfect unisex fall winter scent. So, yeah, uh, Latafa Eternal Wood. And another one will be much, much sweeter. Uh, but also sassy and a little bit sexy even. Uh, it's from Goldfield and Banks and it's Silky Woods. And it is. it smells exactly like the name suggests. It is just Silky Woods. It has lots of vanilla, which is absolutely beautiful. This vanilla is combined with saffron, with oud, of course. It has a little bit of rose, as far as I remember, but this rose is not prominent at all, so you do not need to worry. If you are worried about oud in this fragrance, I wouldn't be worried as well, because this oud is very subdued. It is just a hint of woodiness here. So it is not like oud um, that is barnyardy or anything like that. It doesn't put you off. Beautiful, sweet, opulent, and silky. And silky, exactly as the name suggests. So if you're like if you like woody vanilla combined with saffron, of course, this one will be just absolutely beautiful. And it's perfect for day and night time, of course, during the fall and winter. Of course, we are talking for now about uh, fall fragrances, so let's stick to the fall. So yeah, every day during the fall um, and also during the night, it will be just perfect. It lasts really long time. I know that Goldfield and Banks has this version um, in extract version, uh, Silky Wood in extract version. Uh, I have tested that uh, version out, but I think I personally prefer Silky Woods, like the normal original one. So yeah, that was it. And another one is very dark, very niche, uh, very dangerous and sexy as well. Um, it reminds me of a person that is very, very handsome. Doesn't matter if it's, if it's a man or a woman, but a person that wears very long leather black coat and it's uh, not behaving very good. And I, I'm i talking about uh, Amoral from Per Noir. This one I absolutely love. This is the first fragrance for, from Per Noir that I got to love so much. And this one is so original, so sexy, so alluring, a little bit sweet, smoky, dark, and mysterious. It has plum, uh, it has papyrus, as far as I remember. Uh, it has iris, so it's slightly powdery. It has tonka bean. Absolutely amazing. It is slightly dusty as well. Dusty, sweet, um, even, I wouldn't say delicious. It is powdery, dusty, a little bit sweet, very hard to describe actually. And it has this leathery nuance going on. However, it doesn't have any leather in here. I think maybe cypriol oil combined with oud gives us this leathery aspect absolutely absolutely amazing but it will be not for everyone so definitely you need to test it out before buying because it is very strong it is very strong very alluring so if you like those very dark fall and winter fragrances if you like those fragrances that has that have those dark academia vibe if you like those Halloween fragrances. I think Amora will be just just perfect. It is inspired by um, the person who generally doesn't have any moral rules So yeah, it is 
just dangerous person, very, very handsome in a bottle. So if you are interested to smell like this, Amoral is your way to go. And another one will be uh, another cheapy, uh, because why not? I know that not everyone uh, wants to afford a very uh, expensive niche fragrances and it's completely understandable. The perfumes are not our first thing that we need uh, but of course we do like fragrances we want to smell nice and if you want to smell niche and on the budget definitely you need to check out Lali Le Parfum. No one is talking about this perfume as well and too bad because it's so so good. This is vanilla perfume however it is not uh, very gourmand so if you're looking for something more balanced I think this one is a way to go as well uh, for me, it's mainly vanilla and bay leaf that, um, you know, balances out this fragrance just perfectly. It has tonka. It is like this powdery vanilla, but this bay leaf gives it this dryness, you know, it is not too sweet. Many people compare this fragrance to vanilla ice cream. Mm, and there is something to it, but of course don't think vanilla ice cream like Bianco Latte or any other very sweet vanilla fragrance, that is not it. This vanilla is very, very elegant, as I said, very dry, sophisticated and smelling very, very expensive. So if you want to smell vanillic, expensive, but you are on the budget, you want to smell niche as well, Lali Le Parfum definitely is your way to go. So yeah, Lali Le Parfum. And the last one will be from Unui Nomad. This is one of my favorite brands, niche brands, of course. If you're interested, I have 10% coupon code. So everyone in this brand will find something for themselves. They have something fresher, something heavier. So you will find everything you want. And this one is Amber Kanjar. And this one is perfect unisex for me. And also, again, if you like those resinous ambery fragrances, this one will be just perfect. It also has a plum. Uh, this one is a little bit smoky. This is this plum here is this plum here is slightly smoky as well. Uh, it is woody as well. I do not remember exact uh, the fr the fragrance pyramid, so I won't be making up anything, but for me it is smoky, plummy of course, and woody. Not clean at all. I believe it might have some wood in it, but it's not too heavy, you know. So beautiful. For me, uh, I see a very handsome man uh, when I smell this fragrance. It is in this genre of MFK Grand Soir, but it's not the same, absolutely not the same but it has this resinous warmth and slightly sweet as well so so beautiful lasts really long time on my skin and i really do recommend amber kanjar it combines just amazing with the bad weather outside with the rain it will warm you up will make you smell expensive middle eastern if you like this vibe just go for Amber Kanjar from Unui Nomad. And that was it for today. Let me know if you are using, if you know any of those fragrances, what are your recommendation for uh, those fall fragrances. Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.